hey guys welcome back so in our previous video we have scattered some points around an object like this using this attribute transfer method so in case if you missed this video you can always go back and watch there is a link in the description let's move on to today's topic which is scattering by height actually i have already created this to show you how it looks so here yeah as you can see we have some object and we scattering points only based on the height let's say uh, if you want to increase the height of the scatter you can always go here and increase it like this and also you can increase the fall off in case if you want to have more smoother transition so let's see how to recreate this effect let's start from scratch let's drop a pig head ignore this setup for now let's keep it aside and let's work on this pig so let's disable the shader and uh, let's subdivide this so we have more polygons to work with and the pig is under the ground uh, we want it to be aligned to the ground so to do that let's use a transform and you can move this like this but you are not going to be sure about like if it is aligned properly on the grid you need to be really careful to move it like this but if you are a lazy guy like me you can use a sop called match size and once you connect this it's not going to change anything but you just need to change the justify y to minimum so it will just move the move the object exactly to the grid so if you are even more lazy there is a lapse tool you need to install the lapse first before using this if you already have lapse installed you can just tap and search for lapse axis align and connect this so these two are exactly the same but here the difference is this is set to minimum by default so you don't have to adjust this so you can just drop it and straight away you can see the effect all right we have prepared the mesh now let's start to create an create an attribute to scatter the points so to do this i'm going to use point warp I am assuming you have some basic knowledge in Houdini so you should be able to follow the point warp but if not don't worry it's it's going to be really easy I'll just show you so this is the point warp and uh, let's drop a relative bounding box so what we need from this uh, point warp is an attribute which starts from one here and ends at zero in the top of the object so that we can scatter only where it is one and avoid where it is zero and we can also create a ramp to adjust that uh, fall off so that's what exactly this relative bounding box is going to provide us but this is going to provide us in all the axes like we only want in the y axis but it's going to give you in x and also the z axis so that's why it's vector you can convert it vector to float convert it from vector to float and then you can only use the y axis here let's connect this to the color to visualize it it's not showing because i, I haven't set the display flag here so as you can see this relative bounding box is giving me values from 0 to 1 from the bottom of the object to the top of the object in case if you want to scatter on the top you can keep it like this but i want to scatter the points on the bottom so let's drop a ramp parameter and connect it here since this is a float value set this to spline ramp which is float ramp once you do that it becomes black because by default this goes to completely flat you can click this button and set this to linear 
to have it back and this is what we got but what we wanted is like inverse of this so just click this button and you got the inverse so let's say i want to scatter only here i don't want any values here you can adjust this like this and there you go let's drop a scatter sock and connect it so here we are not visualizing any attribute you are directly connecting it to the color that's why you can see the color in the viewport it's not the usual visualization like i showed in the previous videos this is actual color so you can also use the color here instead of the density attribute just type cd but to be little more efficient let's export an attribute from here so to export an attribute you just need to create a bind export and set this to density or whatever attribute you want to export and connect this output here so this point warp is now exporting a density attribute you can disable this color disconnect that i did by pressing y on the keyboard and just drag to disconnect any 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 wires so go back and you can see this is going to export a density attribute here as you can see and also you can visualize that by clicking the density button here and enable the visualization visualization and you can go inside here and change it to whatever type of visualization you need so that's how you export an attribute from point warp and then you can connect this to the scatter and here you can set this to density back so that you scatter only on the selected areas you can you can control this by using this ramp and also you can scatter only on top like this if you want and one more useful thing is in case if you want to scatter only on sides you can go here and change this to the different axis and you can you can play around with this learning little tricks like this every day is one of the easiest way to learn Houdini. If you wish to learn more in easy way, hit that subscribe button so that you receive my videos as soon as I publish. Hope you find this useful. If you want in-depth tutorial of any of these topics, you can always let me know in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun.